Hello everyone, um, I thought I would do a video showing you my, where I do my art basically, which is my bedroom. So um, this is basically me from outside my doorway, so you can see literally how tiny my room is. Um, my bed, which is just there, is where I have to do all my colouring because I don't have space for a desk anywhere. Like literally, no desk. <laughs> so um, all my colouring stuff is under my bed and I have some colouring books in the shelf over there which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm just going to do a quick little tour because Anne from A Colourful Life did one the other day and I was just like, I really fancy doing this too. So um, first of all here is like a little board that I use to lean on and that is by the side of my um, chest of drawers. Um, right, so uh, originally I did start this video uh, but I forgot to put the camera landscape ways I had a portrait and I thought oh no so I decided I'd just start again I, had, I didn't go too far so that's fine right so I have these two containers here um, and I got these just from a shop called Tiger and they did a few like little container things so here is just some toothpicks that I use with my ink um, and I didn't want to waste them so I've kept them because you can reuse them so this is just houses my um, my Jane Davenport, Jane Davenport mermaid markers, um, and then I've got some water brush pens, so like my Caran d'Ache ones. I've got Dermot ones in there, and a few paint brushes, like very cheap paint brushes, are in here. Um, I don't know why I've kept them in there, but they're just in there because my uh, my other paint brushes uh, live somewhere else. Um, so I have those there. Um, oh no, I can't even do the thing up now. It's because I'm doing it one-handed, it's really hard. Right, and then here, I don't ever actually really use these, but um, I brought them up because um, I obviously can't fit a lot of my things in my room because my room is ridiculously small and I've been on this planet for like 28 years, so you know, I've got 28 years worth of stuff. <laughs> Every now and then, obviously, I clear things out, but um, I have um, some little drawers which I kept some art supplies in ages ago. So um, I have these little graphic uh, twin pens. Uh, there was ink ones as well, which I didn't realise um, that they did this type, but this is what I had in my local art shop. I bought these like years ago, so we're talking about like 10, oh gosh, 10 years ago, my word. No, I don't reckon it was 10 years. I reckon it was 9. 9 or 8 years ago, actually. Because I think I was, I was at university and it wasn't... I don't think I was in my first year. I think I was in my second when I got these. So, um, Some of these still work, surprisingly. Um, they're water brush. Um, I think they're water-based pens. I haven't used them, actually. You know, my coloring books, maybe I will. Um, and then I've got some copper chow. Now, these also are... Uh, kind of quite old but they still seem to work okay um i've used them a little bit but i don't really have any coloring books that are single sided so i haven't really used them a lot um also the alcohol is just so strong like a smell that it makes my head go a bit funny so i tend to not like them for that reason but i'd love to get into using alcohol markers a bit more but i i think i need to get some books really that are single sided and at the moment i just i don't really see any that i like so I don't want to just buy them, for, I don't want to buy books for the sake of buying them, if you know what I mean. So, next we'll move on to this container. This very, very big container here. Um, <laughs> which I got from Hobbycraft, because they sold some really good container stuff. So on top, I've got my little Jane Davenport bright watercolour paint set, because I just didn't really have anywhere to put it, so I just put it there. Um, and it's easy for me to get to if I need to. So inside I've got my acrylic paints. Um, so I've got a range of different brands. I've got some Pebo, Pebio, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. And these are from Hobbycraft. Um, I've got like, this is like a pearlescent paint, which is quite nice. I haven't used the purple one yet, but I use this one, which is a, I think just a teal colour. Um, and then I've got some Americana paint as well. So those are the sort of ones I've got and also um, I haven't tried this either I've got this like deco art twinkles set which I did show you in um, a while ago I think in my uh, like coloring book coloring supply or supply haul thing that I got happy mail that's it 
And now these, these I'm very proud of. And I arranged them so that they would look very pretty. Um, I like to arrange things in colour order, if you hadn't noticed. Even the paints are somewhat in some sort of colour order. Um, but yeah, these are my lovely stickles. I love them. Um, I've got a few non-stickles here. That These ones aren't stickles. These are Dovecraft. Um, they have them in Hobbycraft. I thought I'd try them. They're not as good as the stickles, I find. They're a bit stickier, so they don't lay down as well. But they're not too bad, and they were cheaper as well. So, you know, sometimes it's good to just try new things, because you don't know. But the rest are all, like, uh, stickles, and I love them. And they just... I get such pure delight just staring at my stickle. Um, <laughs> my little stickle um, haul there. So that's where those live. Um... <laughs> So um, I reorganised this like, a f mm, I don't know, like two months ago, because it wasn't, it wasn't too bad under my bed. I had all my colouring books stashed under here too, uh, but I reorganised it so I could get two things a bit easier and also just so it was a bit neater. So, um, okay, I'll just show you some, like, I've got a few little wrap things. So I want to get one of those book ones for my colour pencils, like in the big sets. But um, this is just like a foldish one, and I just keep my singles in here. So I've got lots of in ink tense singles in here. I've got some Albert Dura ones, random gel pen, <laughs> and then I've got some Caran d'Ache Pablos and Supra colours, just a few singles because I'm quite fortunate that I have a really good art shop, especially because I live in a really, really small city which wouldn't normally have that sort of thing in the UK it's, and even then the bigger cities have got rubbish art shops compared to my art shop where I live I've been in a couple of them expecting there'd be even more stuff in there to find my art shop actually has a lot more than they do so they do are so many different brands like they do pretty much all the Derwents all the um they do all the the, what's it called, Karen Dash stuff, um, they also do, they now have Polychromus, they didn't before, but they've got Polychromus now, so they even do um, the Faber-Castell range, which is great, so basically all the pencils, apart from Prismacolor, they don't, nowhere in the UK probably has Prismacolor, there might be a shop somewhere, but anyway, these are my Derwent Colour Softs, um, I bought them all as singles, and I bought these ages ago as well, so when I bought the pens, those pens I showed you, the Zig ones and the Chows, um, I was kind of into doing um, manga drawing and anime drawing when I was about 18 to about 20. Um, I've always kind of liked doing drawing and colouring. And now, I'm not very good at drawing, I have to tell you that. I'm okay. Um, I'm very good at, like, I can copy pictures, so if there's a picture of something, I can copy it, but as in, you know, I don't trace it, I will just copy it from looking. I can do that okay, um, and I can do that to, to like, steal life objects to some degree, like, I, I'm not very good when it comes to people, <laughs> I can't draw people, but I can draw, um, you know, things like that okay, and I always prefer doing the colouring part, that's what I like to do the best, and so I thought I'd try these, um, out and I really like using them. Um, I don't really use them so much now though. I do think I ought to because <laughs> they are, they are quite good pencils. Um, I mean I prefer there's other pencils I prefer, but they're not too bad. Um, and I bought all these singularly as well, so it didn't cost me too much money. This is um a Faber Castell one by the way. I just randomly have that in there. Um, so I'll just pop that back. So I have those. And that's just in a wrap. And I have to kind of just leave these just by my bed because I don't really have anywhere to put them. Um, and if I put them on top of things, they tend to fall off. Now, this is where I have all of my colour pencils that I keep. Um, like I said before, I want to get those big book things, um, pencil holder cases to put them all in because it's driving me crazy having all of these out all of them I have to have out on my bed when I want to colour something and I don't know what colours I want to use because um, I tend to mix, I will use some Prismacolors, I'll use some Luminins, I'll use some Polychromis I don't tend to just use one brand of pencil, I'll use many sometimes I will though, sometimes I might just use my Luminances I tend to use my Luminances quite a lot actually recently so I will have just them on my bed um, so I've got some Tritones, I've got Prismacolor 72 set this is my first set that I had 
Again, I got these back when I was doing the anime manga drawing things. I've got the 60 set of the Faber-Castell Polychromis. I've got the full set of um, Luminances. Um, these are probably one of my favourite pencils. Um, and then I got the 150 Prismacolor because I thought 72 just wasn't enough. Um, and then I have these Lyra Polychromis. Um, Polychromis, no, Lyra Polycolor ones, um, which I, again I don't use very often, but I did buy them sold pretty much just to use for Lost Ocean um, because it's got lots of tiny details and I wanted pencils that wouldn't, I wouldn't have to keep sharpening and that weren't expensive, so I got those. Um, so I should <laughs> try and use them a bit more, so I'll pop them all away. Um, uh, yeah, I do like the Pablos and the Super Color pencils but I haven't bought them because they are quite expensive and I think out of the stuff I have it's fine like what I I really do want to get the whole bind so those I will get someday but for now I think the the sets I have are to totally fine like I don't think I need to get those ones as well because I'd just be inundated with pencils and I can't use them all so um here is where I keep a lot of my watercolour mediums so I have a small set of the um, Abrit Dura, which I originally had this set to start with, and then I bought some singles as well, and then I decided I would just treat myself to the 120 set because um, I don't know why I did, I think I just felt like I wanted to treat myself <laughs> for some reason. I don't do that too often, especially nowadays. Um, this is a little Windsor and Uton Cotman set that I have. Um, which I used it a bit because I thought it was quite a good price and then I found that I could get the full set for like £20 so I ended up buying the full set but I, I like that I've got a little mini one so if I was to travel somewhere I could take that with me and then I've got a 36 set of Dale Went Ink Tents um, I've got the 84 set of Neo Colours apparently there's 120 but I've never seen 120 set anywhere um, I mean, maybe I'm getting it confused with the ones, but it seems from the little information pack that there actually is 120 of them. But, I mean, in my art shop, they sell them individually as well, in the art shop. But they don't, they've only got the 84 set, so I'm thinking maybe it is 84, and it's just me thinking there's 120. Um, but if, if you know if there's 120, please let me know. <laughs> um, and then this is the full set of Albert Dura that I have, which I love. And then when they run out, I can use this, the ones I've got on this pack and my singles to fill this back up um so I don't know if I'd want to put these I love this tin um and I like my Karen Dash tin so these two I might and my luminance pencils I may keep in the cases um and not get a pencil holder thing for them but I definitely want a pencil holder for the prisoners um my pollies <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe I should get one for these, but I, I like them. To be honest, it'll save me storage space. Um, this is where I keep my Super Tips, the 50 set, which the box got a bit battered. Um, I got it from eBay, and it unfortunately came a bit battered, so... Yeah, it's kind of annoying, because <laughs> it's really hard to keep them in. Um, so yeah, maybe I can... Actually, maybe I can get a... I think it would be easier, because they own these little plastic things. I think I might get a little... Um, pencil case thing for these as well to go in because it would just be easier um, and then I have this box which I got from Hobbycraft and I really liked it because it had a world map on it and I love to travel so I thought this was me so I got it um, and I've just got it to hold like little things that I have so I've got like a stencil I've got my these are my pastels so I have those in there um, this is my original set of Neo Colours I had I got 30 originally and then you know if you, you get the small set and then you're like, I need the, need the big one. So, um, yeah, I ended up getting the big one. But, again, at least I can use these to replace the, the big ones. The big ones. The ones in the bigger tin. So, it's not that bad. Um, I got these cheap metallic paints. And they are really, really cheap. And, actually, I don't really like them because they're just a bit... They're a bit too watery. But, um, as I work in a school, I might actually 
um, well, I don't work, I work in schools, I don't actually have an actual class yet, but when I do, um, I might t take this to the school for the children in my class to use, perhaps, because I just don't think I'm probably going to use it much. Um, so I've got this little set of pastels as well, which my friend got me ages ago. Um, so I thought, yeah, I can use these too, because pastels isn't math. We'll use, um, I've got my fine tech paints, I've got my Gansai Tammy starry colours, and then I've also got the pearl colours in there. So ooh, I'm just gonna I don't wanna take everything out of this. And then I've got my big set of Windsor and Newton Cotman paint set. And this is just where I keep all my, my paint brushes as well. Um, so I've got a range. I did get some really cheap ones, like these ones here, but they're just they're really not very good. Like all the hairs come out all the time. And they really annoy me so I, I invested in a set um, yeah this set here um, and these are proper acrylic brushes and they they're amazing they do have they weren't like ultra expensive but they're a bit more than you know the normal ones um, and I find that I've hardly had any hairs come out and apparently they're meant to have a lifetime guarantee so we'll see if they stand the test of time but it came with them um, I just got like a set of them and it came with a big brush a medium one um, a sort of pointed ish one and then you had like a, a flat tip or something as well so it was quite useful so I'm just going to put those back in there so oh wait <laughs> I'm missing these out let's put them in there too so I have that um, and I just store the rest of these on top because I don't have space for everything sadly but I try to keep things in order so I've got like pencil kit pencil cases pencil colour pencils in one bit then I've got water mediums in another so it's it's quite useful like I can sort of order things um now this sorry about my charger just randomly on the floor um this is where I keep some other colour pencils on top so I've got my pastel set of Holbein's there and then I've got my one set of Erotians I have I do like them but I find I don't use them a lot, so I'm not sure if I'll get the other set. So I thought I would just try them because they're, they're quite cheap. Um, and they're not too bad, actually. I do like the colours, but um, I don't know if I'll get the others. Now this, which I think in the future I may reorganise because it's a bit of a nightmare trying to find the pen I want in here. This is where I keep all my gel pens um, and my Fosca pens. <laughs> um, which is great for storage. Why? You know, storage-wise is great, but then it's really annoying when I want to get a pen I'm like there forever digging to find the right one so it's a bit annoying that way um, and these are some metallic markers as well that I just have in there so it's a little annoying <laughs> but it's just for storage reasons it's easier to keep them there um I think I need to get some like proper like pencil holder pots you know the like a cup or something that you put them in but I don't have space to put them anywhere because my room is ridiculously small. Um, so yeah, just randomly, my paint palette and the cup I used to put water in just randomly there because I had nowhere else to put it. Um, and these are some of my big colouring books. These ones here, they're like my bigger ones. They won't fit in my shelf over here, which I'll give you a bit more of a detailed view in a minute. They won't fit over there. And then like these two, I'm working in these two at the minute. So I find it easier to just put the ones I'm working on here at the minute um, and then I've got this pencil wrap which is a Johanna Basford one which I, I've only been able to find where I, in the shop I bought it which was Waterstones in the UK I could not find it anywhere online not at all I only found it in the shop that I got it from so I've got a few single luminances here and some polys and some spare gel pens like I've got a couple of whites these two should be back in that box but I haven't put them in this one should be back where it belongs to but I just haven't done it so um this is the sort of pen holder I would use if I've got a couple of colors that I'm using in a book and I will be using them for a while rather than me having to take all of my color pencils out to get those colors I will just I will just put them in here I'll just keep them in here like these these two I was using on the project so I kept them in there because it saves me having to dig them out um so it's, it's a lot more useful because then I don't have to have all my pencils out of my bed all the time. Um, so I have that. Next, um, these are just 
this is my book which has got some originally it had color swatches in it that's what originally was i still use it for the prisoners because i've been very lazy and not swatched my entire prisoners out yet <laughs> in my proper one um but i use this mostly to just practice different color combinations i sometimes write them out um what ones i'm going to use this is just i used it once to just wipe my brush off <laughs> now I use kitchen roll but I used to use these pages because you know might as well use them so um I just like try different color combo like I decided to swatch all the greens out so I could try different greens um and that's just some gel pens which was from ages ago um so yeah then sometimes I'll write down like what colors I've used so I can use them later it's like here so it's very very messy a very very messy book but um it's, I find it's very useful for just trying things, <laughs> and it, it really does look hilarious, I'm just looking for it now, it's just like, and sometimes I'll write down like what page I'm working on in, in the book, like this is the three questions, and then I can see like what colour combination, and I think I wrote that down just as a note, <laughs> which I need to remember actually, because I haven't finished that book yet, so yeah, I just try like various things really, um, and this is my actual swatch book, so this, um, I do um, put my swatches in, so there you go. That is that. There. Um, that's all that's there. Now on to uh, this area. Whew. Right, so I didn't have anywhere to put these little inks. These little ink, uh, Winsor Newton ink things. So they just go at the foot of my bookshelf. Um, I'm going to sit on my bed a second and then you can see the full view of the shelf. Ooh, just sat on my iPad <laughs> whoops so this is like my bookshelf so I have some books I have so many books they're all behind these things this, that's me and my friend we went to Disneyland for my birthday so <laughs> there's a picture of me and Mickey um, <laughs> like an old iPhone I didn't even use but she's just there um, so these are my books and then I've got some movies um, I have a lot more movies than this but a lot of them are like moved to other places um, and then I made space so I could put my colouring books here I recently made a bit more space so I can fit a few more in so that's why currently there's a bit of space here um, I've just put these there for the moment but um, this is where I have all my books pretty much <laughs> going there um, and I counted them the other day and I've got about 48 so I think that's not bad. <laughs> I could have way more, but I, I'm quite proud of um, just having that many because I mean that these mini Morita ones I bought and I've not even coloured in these yet, not at all. So um, yeah, I try to just buy books I know I will definitely colour in because otherwise I just know I'll just ha I mean you know you can see already I have the tiniest room in the world right, and I just don't have the space for. 200 books so maybe when I have a bigger house but then I also think if I had 200 books I wouldn't colour in them all I mean I don't colour in all these now I'm going I'm decided to write down how many pages each book's ha got and how many pages are coloured in and I'm going to keep doing this because then I can see which ones I've coloured in and which ones I haven't so hopefully it will help me choose which book to work in a little bit easier um so up here we've got my um this is my little bedside table um I really need to get rid of that water bottle actually it's very messy <laughs> as you can see um this is my little pencil sharpener that I use for my prisoners um and then I use just a normal settler one and I put it in this container so I can put the sh sh shavings in I use that one for most of my bigger pencils so like the luminance won't fit in here and neither will the Albert Dura so I have to put them in that one but um, that one I find with the, I've used it with a few prisoners because when they get really short, like they won't fit in here anymore, and I find it's pretty good. So I like that. Um, and then I have a little pen pot here where I keep my eraser, which won't fit in, and then some pens and some pencil holders, <laughs> and then I've got some sharpeners that I don't even use there, and some Pritt stick, <laughs> which I don't even use for coloring books. But you know, just in case I need some Pritt stick, I have some there. Um, and this isn't colouring book related, but I just want to show you how proud I am of my lovely book collection up here. Um, my I 
aim is to have my own library in my house one day and I love like leather bound books so these are all like leather bound they're from Barnes and Noble which we don't have in the UK but you can buy a lot of these on Amazon and sometimes Waterstones will sell them but they're a lot more expensive than Waterstones so um I bought some of these on Amazon. It's a shame because I go on Barnes and Noble every now and then to see what ones they got and they have so many nice new ones and I'm like, they're not available on Amazon. So how am I supposed to get them? They don't I don't think they do international shipping, which is really annoying. So I'm just gonna have to go on holiday and just buy a load of Barnes and Noble's hardback books <laughs> and hope that the weight doesn't like, you know, kill me when I um have to return <laughs> and pay like a load of money. So um yeah, and there's my Harry Potter books yeah um i like all my books to match as well so that's why all my harry potter books are all the children's editions even though i was 18 when the last one came out so i could have gone for the adult one but i was like no it doesn't match so it has to match and then i've got some dvds or blu-rays even blu-rays here uh, my kindles there so notebooks and then some playstation games <laughs> so that is pretty much it that is my room so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing my colouring surpri supplies, not surprise, colouring supplies. Um, so I'll see you soon. Bye.